Hello, this is Sarah Fennick. Welcome to CNR News Club Headlines, where we report the news that's making changes and feature blogs that are making a difference. We start with a blogging tip for you based on the question, how do I start blogging on CNR News Club? The first step is to register on www.cypressnewsreport.com. You'll see the link on the top left hand side of your screen. The next step is to choose your membership, silver or gold. The third step is to choose your favorite topic and write around 400 words. Once it's published, we'll do the rest and promote your article to a wide audience of readers, bringing exposure to your business, passion or cause. Now for the main news. President Anastasiadis met with Chancellor Merkel to ensure respect for EU principles towards Cyprus and Turkey's membership talks. In the wake of the murder of 19-year-old Odysseus Themistokleos by his father Timo Leon, the Anti-Domestic Violence Committee said that friends and relatives who are close to families going through abuse must call the police or report it to the authorities. A Larnaca policeman has been arrested on suspicion of corruption after he took cash from a driver instead of giving him a ticket for drink driving. Following a controversial agreement between Turkey's President Erdogan and German Chancellor Angela Merkel to open up chapters 23 and 24 in EU membership talks, President Anastasiadis met with Merkel at the EPP conference in Madrid. Anastasiadis said he had already proposed that Turkey opens its ports to Cyprus traffic as a confidence-building measure, otherwise he will veto the opening of the next chapters. Turkey does not recognize the Republic of Cyprus as an official member state in accordance with the Ankara Protocol. This position has stalled its EU membership ambitions. The president said he is certain that Merkel will try to convince Turkey about applying EU principles towards Cyprus. Foreign Minister Ioannis Gasolidis said that the deal to open chapters 23 and 24 in exchange for more action on Syrian refugees would be blocked by the government. These are the chapters on justice, security and fundamental rights. As long as Turkey occupies Cyprus, it is in breach of international law, justice and fundamental human rights. In the wake of the murder of 19-year-old Odysseus Themistokleos by his father Timo Leon, the Anti-Domestic Violence Committee said that friends and relatives who are close to families going through abuse must call the police or report it to the authorities. Domestic violence is a crime and an anonymous phone call could save someone's life, said the committee. There is information that there was a pattern of, bu of abuse within the family, but it was never reported officially, according to the police. And now the family mourns the death of one of its sons. Questions are also being asked about the role of the police in domestic violence cases and whether there is enough of a proactive approach to the problem. If someone phones the police, will the call be taken seriously? And can the victims rely on the police keeping them safe? The two men argued over using the family car at 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday, October 14th, and during the fight, the father picked up a shotgun and shot his 19-year-old son in the abdomen. The 70-year-old father was also injured during the fight to disarm him. He is in hospital and able to communicate, say police, who have an arrest warrant waiting for him. A Larnaca policeman has been arrested on suspicion of corruption after he took cash from a driver instead of giving him a ticket and charging him with drink driving, reports the state news agency. The driver registered with 0.55 for blood alcohol level. The limit in Cyprus is 0.22 and there is a minimum 300 euro fine. Meanwhile, Justice Minister Ioannis Nikolaos said the government is preparing a whistleblower law called the Reporting Acts of Corruption Law. Currently, there is no law to protect whistleblowers in Cyprus. Corruption erodes democracy and the government has a zero tolerance rule, he said. The police have already established a corruption monitoring group for suspected cases of money laundering and financial corruption, said the minister in a speech at Transparency International. Thank you for watching CNR News Club headlines. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You'll see the links on your screen or just search for cypressnewsreport.com. You're more than welcome to join CNR News Club. Visit www.cypressnewsreport.com to learn more. That's all she wrote for this week. Goodbye for now.